fair. Let me let's see how good you got with this now. You gotta love them. No, let's hear how you how good you got. Cause you're there you're there faking it till you make it in your car on your story. Alright, cool. How many of you have done this challenge? The what is it? Seven, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight challenge. The seven, eight challenge. Alright. I'll do it. And then it's your turn. And I'm only doing it. Are you doing it to music, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Without no one speaking. No one speaking. I just got the same beat that the soldier boy beat that. People seem to be doing on the easy beat. Why can't I just pick a beat for you? Uh, you, you didn't want to. You had an option to do that. Oh, so you see, so just got a little you, click in it because you know this. This beat. is what Carly needed, isn't it? Let's see if you can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, eight. You got something to say in it. Go on. Go oh, backwards there. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, cool, 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 cool. Let me wind up a bit. Well, but let me give you a beat. No, no, no. I feel like you've been up all night. Have you been up all night? <laughs> <laughs> eight, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three. Ah! Oh! What happened? I don't know. The two didn't come out quick enough. Have you been up all night doing that? Nah, go on. Let's see now. DJ Leo. Why well, did you to use this a different beat? Go on, use whatever beat you want. No, I'll use your beat. You want this beat? Well, <sighs> we have to use the same beat. Go on. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> I've never uh, seen you go red like this. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six. Damn. So I can't do it. Man. Damn. I can't do it. Damn. Yeah. Painful. It's painful. That's painful, man. What, 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 what's catching you out there? Because you, you can't get past counting. I feel like it, I feel like it's because I want to. I want to MC. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't. I'm not trying to catch the beat. Yeah, it's, it's actually harder than it looks. I feel like I'm trying to. Uh, I could do it if I wanted to stay in rhythm, mm. but not in beat. Different. I don't know the difference. <laughs> Tell me if you know the difference <laughs> of what he just said. Cut. Like <laughs> you could still pause and stay in beat, like but you have to keep it flowing in it. One to eight. You can't have a. Like four, five, six, seven, eight. You can still yeah, stay no. on the beat, but you're going to have a pause in there. Yeah. Do you see where I'm coming from? Does yeah. it make sense? So you want to be like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you see where I'm coming from? With a pause. Yeah. Cause that means, I think the pause is what catches me back up, if that makes sense. <laughs> because I didn't know that there was a gap at the beginning of each one. You just got to Maybe you got to go backwards. Miss out the numbers. Uh-huh. Maybe you'll find it easier going backwards. Eight. Seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Mm. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Yeah, it's a bit much for you, man. It's, it's all right. Cause you did all right, though. You done, you done good for being up all night trying. Yeah. How many times did you try, though? On the no, that was from when we did it the other day. Stop lying. You are a liar. Mm-mm. All right, when you see his vlog on his channel, yeah, you'll see. I tried it bare times in there. I've got it now, man. We don't go like to go <laughs> pause. Hmm? No, well, no problem. So I went on Instagram and I put up the story, and I said, "Tell me something people assume about you that's wrong. Uh, they think my life is amazing because I'm always the life of the party, but it's not." Yeah, I can kind of relate to that one. Especially like doing social media and that. I think a lot of times, not necessarily now, but in the past where things aren't going too great in your life, but you put out mm. that it is, like on clips, people can always assume you live this great life. I think a lot of people assume I can do a lot for them as well. Like I had two people this week hit me up asking me if they can work for me. And I'm like, work for me? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? And do what? Like, I, I feel like, uh, what wait, do I portray? Was they was they was they replying to the uh, you need, we need a production person? 
No, no. This oh. guy was just like, I want to leave my full time job. Do I have any? He was to leave his full time yeah, job to work for Bailey. Don't leave your full time job for me. The chatterbox ain't making no bread. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know that whole. It's crazy, you know, because when I do look at certain individuals on Instagram, yeah, mm. I'm like, wow. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's certain individuals that I've seen on Instagram that I thought was gone. Mm. Do you understand me? And then you find out their background and you're like, how do you pull this off? Mm. You have the art of having your phone in the right place at the right time. And you, you produce these pictures that would have had me believing you was gone. Like, wow, what, what have you invested in? Do you know what I mean? Mm. That type of thing. It's a facade, man. It's a, it's a crazy facade as well. Man. But it's a facade that you put on. Like, I, I, didn't, I don't know who that is, yeah. Let me see who said that. I might actually know who it is. And I've always tried to push and pump into Tay, you know, like, stop, watch, don't. That's one thing, that's one thing you shouldn't do is watch people because when you watch people, you can get it wrong, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're going to do pause me. <laughs> I didn't, how was that a pause thing, though? That's the one thing I tried to push and pump into Tay. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sometimes you have to hear it back in yeah, it. Yeah, that's a pause, man. <laughs> Don't follow my vocab if you're in this pausing thing. Um, people assume I'm unapproachable and that I'm a rude boy. That's a bit like Carly. Not that she's a rude boy, mm. but she has an unapproachable face. Uh, RBF. What's that? An RBF. What's that? A resting bitch face. Yeah. I think a lot of girls have that. Yeah. RBF. Yeah. Kyra's quite... Kyra always thinks she's unapproachable. Not unapproachable. She says that if she walks... When if she meets people, people assume that she's a bitch. You know what I mean? Or well, that's what she assumes that they're assuming. <laughs> that's a lot of an issue. A lot of assuming, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Um, it's a lot of people saying the same thing and people assume I've got bare money because everyone always everyone's always asking me to borrow money that happens to me what? that does happen to me like everybody assumes that you just got it and you I've, don't need that it that I've got it and I yeah like I don't like I'm never under financial pressure do mm. you know what I mean but we all got our own do you know what I mean like, I assume that what that about I'm you? not under financial pressure ever even it's, if you said, even if even if you came, even if I saw you and you was like, ah, oh, banks, like, so I'm in my head. Yeah. I've ne I don't think I've ever. You know what it is? It's not that I'm, it's not that I'm under financial pressure, but I'm not where I wanted to be. Mm. But I do try to save or I manage my money very wisely. Like I will put my money in a long term fixed, like I use Vanquish this year. Mm. Go and look. Go and check them out. Vanquish are good. They got good rates. Five point two right now. What's that? So, so like basically, it's like a fixed bond, fixed term bond for one year, mm. and they give you back five point one percent on top of whatever money you put in there. You can put up to I think it's two hundred and fifty grand in there. So when you put money in there, mm. and you get, that means you can't touch it. So then you, you know that. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So like I put some money in there last year, and the interest I earned on it, it just allows me to go on a holiday with the family. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it, it, everybody assumes I've got money, but there's things I have to do to be able to acquire that, if that makes sense. Yeah. Do you see what I'm going with? So I'm a good saver. A lot of people are saying money. Um, yeah, another one, money. That I'm, that I'm an angry man. I'm really a gentle soul. People think, that, people think I'm, I'm, a very, I'm a very ignorant type of person, you know? Even my, even my colleagues at work. But when they actually sit down and have a conversation with me. Mm. Like, they're like, oh, I didn't know you was like that. Yeah. Like, I didn't know you was that type of person. Mm. Like, well, you didn't approach me, did you? Yeah. Like, I'm not begging it with nobody. Or I'm not, I don't, if we're, if, we're, <laughs> if we're not friends, then what am I supposed to do? I don't know, what am I supposed to do? Like, laugh, laugh up with you? Smile mm -hmm. up with you? I don't know. I just stay in my lane doing what I'm doing. But when they approach me, they're like, oh, you're kind of cool, innit? And I'm like, bro, what are you trying to say? I was uncool. <laughs> Even like I was looking at the messages the other day and the man said, ah, oh, you man have got all day to sit on here and chat shit. 
And I think to myself, but but that's from the reels, yeah? And I mm. think to myself, if you really deep it, he probably hasn't watched the 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 actual podcast. Mm. <clears throat> and a 60 second reel that you can edit, you can assume a lot from, do you mm. know what I mean? Or it gives lots of opinions, like, like the bacon one, mm. for instance. There's a lot of assumption that, do you know what I mean? Or there's a lot that goes into it that that's, perpetuates that to 60k views and mm. it's like wow just from from a one banter do you know what i mean look at the um the one with that what's his name mini, 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 mini what's his name mini mature mini mature his name mini mature what was his name again miniature remember he made a whole he made a whole reel on us on an assumption oh the guy yeah, yeah, yeah. over banter so it's like there's assumptions very broad isn't it it's very it's funny how people have got a lot of time on their hands to assume I don't really have much time on my hands to assume, if that makes sense. Mm. If I see something and it, and and and, it's, and it looks that way, then yeah. But I haven't got time to really sit down and deep or think. Or, or but you do like you just don't act on it or voice it. Yeah, maybe. Like we, everyone assumes you see something, you have to make an assumption. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. But a lot of people they like to voice it or that's it. They're sitting, go, it's sitting stone mm. for them, like. You lot are that way, or you're that way. Mm. That's you. Not, yeah. not are you that way? Yeah. Type of thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's, 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 it's a yeah, it's a funny one. Assumption. Don't jump to conclusions and make assumptions. <laughs> if you're gonna go and work for Bailey, I'm working for him before you. I ain't got no work for no one. What what what's your take on trust? As in, I don't feel like we actually we we didn't sit on it for long enough. <laughs> go on go on what trust we didn't sit on it for long enough oh, right, go on but trust yeah this is a lot of what's my take on trust yeah what do you mean so what, what do you what, what do you mean because you said that we like we, we just skimmed over it like do you trust somebody 100% not after your breakdown of it oh it made you re well it made me feel how much do you trust Kyra um, ninety nine percent. Ninety nine. Are you gonna put point nine nine no, something on there? There's I've reserved one percent. Just one percent. Yeah. Just in case she fails. What do you like? So, so just to not just have us like, I trust Kyra. Financially. Yeah. I trust her physically. I don't really think she's got. I could be wrong. Anyone can do anything. Yeah. But I couldn't really imagine Kyra cheating. I definitely couldn't imagine her stealing from me. Because I'll actually just fuck her up. She knows that. I'd actually just kill her. But I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you trust her emotionally? How? What does that mean? Do you trust her with your emotions? Like with my emotions, I have to because she sees them. So I feel like I, I've, I've allowed that because I'll tell Kyra. There's not much I won't tell Kyra now. Like, sh- like I'm not shy to tell her anything. Mm. I think I, f- I genuinely think like I, I've been with people in the past that I didn't trust. Put it that so it's not like I'm a naive, fall in love with someone and they've got my trust. I've been with people in the past and they don't have my trust. Do you think that you learn a lot from your past relationships? Hundred percent. Huh? Hundred percent. Do you, you think you're, do you think you you're scarred from them? Hundred percent. Does that affect your present relationship? Hundred percent. But that I I, I say a hundred percent of that because it's this is like I, although you're saying this to me for the first time, it's not the first time I thought about it or been asked it. Do you know what I mean? I think everything in your life, every mistake you make in your life is an opportunity to learn something new. If you just make a mistake and think, oh, that was a mistake and take nothing from it, it was a waste of time. Whereas a mistake that you learn from sometimes is a good thing. And I learned a lot from my previous relationships. In fact, my previous relationships kind of made me not want anything. It made me know what I don't want. And it made me very reluctant to get into a new relationship because I was like, zero tolerance on a lot of stuff and before me and Kyra become a relationship it took a long time to like 
her to understand what my zero tolerances were and if she could meet that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I literally came... the relationship When I started this relationship with Kyra, I came into it with so many no's. That's... I won't stand for this or that. Like, that can't happen. So she broke down those barriers. She proved that she was... She was on the same page, I guess. Do you know what I mean? For example, yeah. I'm a very... um. I'd say I'm a very spiteful person in the sense that if you wrong me, I really want to wrong you back in as a person, you know, like mm-hmm. that could be in a playful way. It could be on a board game. It could be something serious. Yeah. Mm. Injustice. I hate injustice. I hate feeling that something's not just. So in previous relationships, that same part of me turned me into a toxic person because I was with a toxic person and if they're telling me you can't do this you can't do this you can't do that I personally don't care if you do this that and that but because you don't want me to do something I'm now going to try and interrupt your life and say well if I can't do that you can't do that then and now we're both not doing what we want but really I didn't care if you did that I'm just pissed off that you you're making a problem about this so like that kind of behavior when I came into a relationship with Kyra it was very much like I would never be with a girl that's got, there's going to be issues where um, you're telling me what I can and can't do, can and can't go, who I can and can't see, who are my friends or not my friends. That's crazy, man. Mm. You know, you know, like when I hear stories or, you know, all this, and if you're one of these people that you can't, you can't go on holiday. That's or, a thing for people. Or you can't, please understand, yeah, that I'm going to be frank. If I want to cheat, I don't have to be on a plane across the water. Hmm. I can do it in South London. It right. doesn't matter where you are. It matters how you are in your relationship or hmm. you are with that person. It doesn't matter. Hmm. All these people have got this warped idea of... And when when somebody says, you can't wear this and you can't wear that, huh? I saw you uh, post something the other day. Hmm. Uh, Kyra was wearing a jumper thing. Hmm. And he was asking if it was too much. Mm. And I was like... But the facts bef- the, the facts behind that post, yeah? Like, I posted it to get that reaction. Yes, she can. No, she can't. I personally don't care. She could, She's worn it out. I've seen it out. The day that she asked me, can she wear this? She was going to see her, her nan. Yeah. And I'm saying, I don't think you should wear that to go see a nan. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. but I wasn't. But putting, in terms of, no, I wasn't putting yeah. you in that category. But what yeah, I'm yeah. saying is, people would have, I, I would have categorically said no. Yeah, yeah. she can't. She can't. Yeah, hundred percent. When I read the comments from that, it. when I saw the comments, and people were like, like, no why, way. Why not? Why have you even posted? Like, people was even saying like, that I shouldn't have even posted. Like, how are you showing your girl like this? I'm like, bro, I don't like what. Kyra can wear that. I don't care. She but can like, go out now. But, but like what though? It's, it's, it, I don't know. I don't know. It's. A, to have that kind of, uh, you know, you know what it comes down to. It comes down to you, the individual. You're insecure. Hundred percent. It's, it's something you need to check yourself. But what I also found out though is like, yeah, the individual, the person, the person being insecure because the people I refer to, the previous relationships, I can see now why they're insecure. Do you know what I mean? Was it like a domino effect, or was it something you was doing? No. When I say a domino effect, because I always feel like baggage, baggage comes along every time a relationship is yeah. evolves mm-hmm. or a person evolves in dating or relationships. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Oh, my man used to do this to me. Uh, yeah, do you know what I mean? So yeah. they bring that with them. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't, I yeah. can't, I can't, I can't do that because my man used to do that to me. And yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like. Instead of just going into the relationship fresh and, mm. and, and dealing with whatever issues happen in a in that relationship. Yeah. But you can't though, you can't just hit reset and act like nothing's ever happened. Anything that happens to you in, in your life is gonna it's gonna scar you and it's gonna you're gonna assume that can happen again. And it just helps you I think in learning from them you set new boundaries before those things become a thing. Yeah, you know, I'm I, one thing I know is I'm not put on this earth to make somebody else happy. Mm. Does that make sense? Like I'm not here to, 
I can't, I can't make you happy. I can't, I'm not going to live my life in a cardboard box to make you happy. Do you mm. know what I mean? That's mm. what I mean by that. I don't, I'm not saying that you can't make them happy by doing certain things like, let's get it right, because I don't want people to t take my words out of context. Mm. I mean, if you come into the relationship unhappy or you have these scars, mm. then it's not for me mm. to change my life to fit how you feel. Mm. It's for us to have a conversation and for us to, to have an understanding. It? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's what it is. I think the communication gets lost in the honeymoon period of a relationship. Definitely. Do you like, know what I mean? I, I, yeah, and then, not and then, it, then it's being negative. It's like, oh, no, it's all negative. No, we just didn't. We didn't. We didn't discuss. We didn't talk. Yeah. We didn't, we was we was on a high. We was on the high wave. Yeah. Everything else was background noise. The honeymoon period can blind you from a lot. Yeah, it's a bit like dating, man. I've got, I've got a couple of friends that are dating, and it just seems so mad because all the people are doing is putting their best foot forward, and I'm like, well, then how are you supposed to? But that's it. That's what you have to remember, though. Getting into a new, like dating or getting into a new relationship, whatever you're seeing in that first year understand that that is the best version of that person do you understand they haven't had no they might not have had no trauma no financial problems like you haven't even seen them angry yeah what do they shout like do they shout or are they silent what, what are they yeah under pressure exactly and that's when you that's when you know if it's working or not if in them moments it's yeah. still a feel that i love so girls out there that are chasing clout and chasing money and all these birkin bags and all of that but this is, you know what it is? It's guys and girls, yeah, who are in a relationship that you're, can't, you're let's not say comfortable, let's say you found, you found what you thought you was looking for. But over a period of five to ten years, it seems a bit, it's just kind of drift, not drifting, but it's just on autopilot. It's just kind of going. Mm. And then, for whatever reason, maybe you start hanging out or meeting other people or seeing your friend who's just met a guy and they're going on dates and she's relaying back their honeymoon period. Mm. Yeah. That is when people start thinking, well, well, maybe I want something else. But you're you're comparing something that's real to something that's like Yeah. It's that's it's not fake, but it's the best version. Like if me and Kyra broke up today and I had to meet somebody new, yeah, believe me. What would you do? Because you're just a hermit now. I'm a hermit. And that's the real me. So yeah, have to find, but maybe so I'd have, have to find a forty. May, no, but maybe I'd have to. Year old. Maybe I'd have to pretend like I like going out again. Maybe I'd have to be that life again. So you're gonna put your best foot. Your forward. best foot forward. Let's go out every weekend. Do you think after a few years, when, I'm we're not going out every week. I'm tired. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? But that's that's, that's an example. <laughs> that's an example. And there's a flip to it as well. Like females, especially with females, like they have a lot of friends that have, that have, that. Have, been in broken relationships or relationships that broke down and then now mm. they want to be the third the third ear the third mouth in someone's ear like mm. let me feed you information about your relationship i try so hard not to give people a relationship advice and, and you know what i praise you for that because i've always been and if you ask carly i say i don't get into nobody's relationship because mm. when behind closed doors you don't know. don't know and there's two sides to a story and there's the truth and furthermore they're two big people work it out yourself mm. Do you know what I mean? Who am I to start dressing up the place? And if you watch Love Island, you know what I'm talking about. Jess is typical that yeah. in other people's relationships because she can't get no man. You know what I mean? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Give me an update on Love Island. Love Island. What's the Love Island update? Boy, Uma. Uh, no, how did how did how did my man do? Uma left with um with a with a so the but ha huh, so this Surrey boy coming this country boy from Surrey. Mm. He's come in and he's picked this girl, yeah? Mm. And basically, the man has to go home now because he's picked her, yeah? Yeah. So he's got dashed up. <laughs> Do you know what she's done? Oh. I'm going with you. <laughs> Just left him standing there. Yeah. The arrogance. The brother could have picked a person that wasn't with nobody, you know? Mm. But he thought he could pick Uma and steal him from the guy because they was in a bit of a... Yeah. Casa Mom kind and of... she left the show with the she guy. She left the show with the guy. I had to rate her for that. I didn't how, even how really. Far to the end of I it? didn't really like Uma. How far to the Couple end? Couple weeks now. Is there money at the end of this? I think they get like hundred bags or something, fifty bags, hundred bags. But they, they, did she seem like promos, she's already? Innit? Did she seem like she's already um got something going that she can leave for now? Uh, like she made up her own catchphrase or something yet? Nah, but. <laughs> 
But uh, one, of, I think one of the in Vogue, one Vogue or one Vogue magazine men, uh, mentioned her or something, mm. so she can do modelling and that. But but the fact of the matter is that she left the experience. Yeah, yeah. I hope the hope will fix up, but will seems like one of the bad them that's still young, still young in his mind. Do you know what I mean? Joey's still in there. Keep slipping, yeah, Joey. Is he coupled yeah. up? <laughs> Joey's a lot. <laughs> Joey's actually a prick. Is, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. is this doing good for his character? Mm. Can, can you see him coming out of this on better than he was before? Nah, but he's gonna come out and he's gonna get he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna put him back in the limelight for a little while. Mm. He's gonna get a couple of little his agent's gonna be busy for a little while. Mm. Let's put it like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But you know, I have to remember Love Island is still as popping as it used to be. It's just not in my world. No, but you know what's so sad about Love Island for me mm. is that it's put very produced now, like produced, totally. produced. Where before they just got on with it, mm. and they would they might tweak a couple of bits. But now it's like watching The Only Way Is Essex. It's actually mm. a, it's like a a produced reality show. Whereas you feel like the beefs even like kind yeah, of- even the beef, the way they beef, and even if. It's mad, like the brother must have said that Joey was uh, <laughs> was it the sharpest tool in the box or something. Mm. Yeah. Joey come out with some mad one liner like, "I'll beat you in a race." What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Typical, <laughs> typical. <laughs> I'll beat you in a race type of thing. But you, I can, I feel like it's very produced. Like yeah, it would be arguments are produced, and that's what they do. Like it's it's, it's kind of what ha- it never it never got that far with Big Brother. But you got to imagine, like, imagine the first Big Brother compared to the last Big Brother. Yeah, but even Big Brother, I stopped watching it. I liked Big Brother. I fucking love Big Brother. Is yeah. it still going? Yeah, it's on uh, Channel 5, isn't it? Well, no? Big Brother till today still goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, taking a, they're doing auditions now. You should audition. You know what I did audition for? What? Uh, Squid Game. UK. I did one in the UK. Oh, yeah, had the UK cast. How much money? 100 grand. 4 point something million. 4 point million? <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. That woman there mashed up the thing on the last one, boy. I feel like I would 100% win the Squid Game if I got onto that show. What would you do if you got if you come out first? What if I lost first? Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I would have said my catchphrase on the Squid Game by then. You know what I mean? I've got something to run off, but um. <laughs> A big up chatterbox on my way out. You know what I mean? But um, chatterbox. Nah, if I got a chance to go on the Squid Game, I think I hundred percent win that. Full of confidence. It's not about confidence. It though. Is. There's a lot of confident people out there. there they went out quick. No, they don't. They're not me. They did. They're not me though. Because I would be different. Is it the same with all them bunk I beds be in confident. the in the place? I'd be confident, but crafty. You know what I'm saying? I How can you out, be crafty? I wouldn't be out here screaming off the bunk beds. I'd be quiet and know what I'm doing. Because I know my I know my character. People will vote me out just for... The, can they vote you out? They can't vote you they, out. It's not a voting thing, but it's like there's ways to get people out. Mm. There's certain games where it's like selective. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I know, man. If I get on that show, though, life's changed, man. And then my man, that... Message me for the job. I have something for you. Don't worry. I definitely have something for you. How long have we been recording? Twenty minutes. Yeah, that's so, enough. Yeah, that's about enough. You got anything else you want to add in? Mm-hmm. Anything else you want to say? I'm gonna. I need to do a quick promo. People it says events thirtieth. Yep. Tuesday the thirtieth of July. It's in about two weeks time. Leo's gonna be there DJing. How much am I getting paid? Yeah, this is a. This is a. I just assumed you got money. You know what I'm saying? I just assumed you didn't need that. DJ DJ Leo will be there. I'll be there in the background filming somewhere. Um, Kyra will be there hosting. Opportunity for meet and greet. Come and bump into us. We'll be there drinking, mingling. It'll be good to see a few of you there. It'll be good to see a few of you actual regulars that comment every week. Um, and actually get to meet you and see who you are. Maybe you can we can have a little chat and Can you put it up on the screen? Do we, what? The flyer on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put the flyer on the screen. So it's um it's in details are on the screen right now of where it is. So I'll put a link to the tickets in the description of this show so you can purchase yourself a ticket and we'll see you there, man. But yeah, definitely make sure you get there. Yeah. That's the end of today's show. That's the end of this week's episode. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, because you know it does great things for the channel. 
I've been your boy Bailey. I've been Lito. Peace. Peace. Pick up yourselves. Jeez.